Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's go ready to rumble CPL Major round 3 this week. Uh, tonight we're gonna see the game again, the Hungarian HSOKK clan and the Germany uh, MOD move or die. Uh, I cannot say how it properly says this Hungarian Special Operation Forces, whatever they are called. Uh, so. We've got a special one of the newest maps on uh, PS4 that uh, Sand River Sandstorm picked by HS OPK. They're gonna defend as the first uh, players, first team on that side. As you can see, Team Babalu uh, has got team only on his T32. That's a great achievement. Uh, so, HS OPK. Uh, Sketon Hoon and Arn Hoon M41 Bulldogs, Krabantas T54 Lightweight, that's free light tank on the defense side. Uh, Ice Team and Chasabi Ice Freeze, uh, Sigutra and Volo T32. Uh, MOD Ritual and Shapi uh, Sabas T54 Lightweight, so team of uh, WZ102, uh, that's free light tanks on the uh, attacking side. Uh, Gold Sky and Black with uh, Ice Freeze and uh, Seba Online from uh, T32s. Something important for all the new players. Check these guys built on the tank. Looks like Skeleton uh, forgot about the camo. Uh, we can see that you have been spotted. You've got no camo. You you are trying to save some food on that, and you have been spotted. That's not a good idea to save on a camo on light tank. <laughs> uh, so uh, we've seen uh, guys from HPL uh, CMOD. All of them are prepared. And ritual had been done by Krabanditas. That was that was really quick. That was a that's an issue with the uh, Chaffy. Oh, Lucifer! What a miss! Uh, should but Chromer finish the Kevin test uh, with the Chaffy if he has been spotted and if one, anyone's able to uh, ram it and shot it. That's done. No, no Chaffy. But that's an advantage uh, for uh, MOD uh, some kind because it was uh, can now lead the team uh, to throw on doing whatever he's doing by himself. Uh, Black is still saving on equipment. Let's go see Sabas does not. <coughs> so we've got lots of shooting down there. It's 1 1 now. From really start, as we can see uh, the graphics on that map, it's uh, dark, but it is a sandstorm, and yes, it looks like, like a sandstorm. Uh, great. It looks great here. From this side, check this out, guys, without an interface. Yeah, you know, with the face, you can see where are the tanks. Without, it's absolutely uh, dark. Everything is covered now with the sand, and as we can see, the wind here is blowing pretty much. And Skatenhun has been uh, spotted. Sigutra as well. Sigutra even took some damage from Iron Hun, I think. Uh, now Skatenhun on fire. I don't think he will manage. No, he didn't manage to. Get rid of the fire, no large fire extinguisher, and he's done. That's two, two to one for MOD. Move or die is winning. Uh, even that, despite that, they are on attacking side and they're getting closer and closer. They're pushing through the river or what's left of it from it. Let's get them. <coughs> yeah, we can have some great shots down here. And shots have been fired. Icy man got some damage as well. Not only Black Sphere. Now there is a light tank from behind. T54 lightweight. Uh, great light tank and uh, quick shooting with WZ1422 is here as well. It's 3 to 1 for MOD at the moment. That's a great outplay. I don't think the Sigutra or Arunhu will manage to get back and have the team. Yep, they won't. 
just had the money to dodge some outstanding shots and now Babalu has been tracked so we try but yes there is there is uh, an unhun here but I don't think he will be able to change anything anymore it's 5 to 2 for MOD that was a great outplay this, is, this shows how important uh, the light tanks and good players on light tanks with uh, good kills are in that game it's not only heavy tanks it's not the tank destroyers how many tank destroyers you can see here not many nearly none at all now we got light tanks tidy up Sigutra so it will be first run won by MOD on map picked by HS OKK and black super team Sigutra that 7 2 for MOD it's one year Babalu T32 1.3k damage not much blocking on their side not much nothing special uh, Black Super has 3 2.2k he's the best one and uh, Sabas in T54 tried to catch him one year leading MOD on the map picked by HSOKK that's the first map that we're gonna see we're gonna switch the sides what is important is the, that the MOD didn't pick, didn't play the map that they picked, and they are gonna play on the west field. As on their map, they will be attacking down there. Now they've got a small advantage because they've won the attack. So okay, I will put up the, my magic timer. Time starts. Clan's got three minutes to pick up the tanks. <coughs> MOD, move or die, HSOKK, Germany versus Hungary. Uh, we are going to see outstanding game. We've got uh, Sandstorm on the Sand River, first time in CPL, not only on season 4, but first time in CPL. As we've seen, it's a great graphic uh, graphics effect on that, on that map, but those are not only effects. Uh, your tanks do not spot from normal ranges your tanks got limited radio range as well so even you spot someone you are too far you will not provide the exact place where he is so he won't be seen by your friends it's important to know how to build your team and how to prepare your light tanks and heavy tanks on the for that map now let's see what mod are gonna do here now on the defense they did the hard part on they turned the hard part for their advantage so they won an attack now they are gonna defend themselves both of these clans are uh, we can say veterans experienced they played uh, in earlier seasons of CPL they are top competitive clans from their countries most active and top best ones so we can definitely see all the best teams from the all world in CPL that's really important if you wanna learn something if you are a Hungarian player and will learn something from your mates HSOKK is where you're supposed to go if you are a German player and you would like to learn a serious competitive gaming MOD is the clan you should turn out uh, I'm not able to tell you if they're recruiting but definitely these guys are gonna teach you some great things to do
ok Clans had three minutes to pick up the tanks three minutes passed i'm gonna review them and let's hope nobody made any mistakes and let's see what they prepared for us Uh, let's start the battle one year for MOD after first round Sandstorm, Sand River, Sand River, Sandstorm uh, New map, different tactics, something special as we can uh, we just seen on the first round Let's see what's going on in the second round Two experienced uh, teams, both top of the uh, countries So we've got a really great game here and we've seen the, we can see the changes here so uh, MOD Rift War MX, Chappie, Sabas, T54, Lightweight, Solo, FEMA, uh, WZ132, Black Lucifer, IS3, Sebal9, Krumel, T32s, and Gold Sky IMX5100, uh, Outloader, Ages of Key, Ages of Key, Skeleton Hoon, and Iron Hoon uh, M41 Bulldog, Kremon uh, Dust, T54, Lightweight, IC Man, Chasabi, IS3, Siguta, Babalu, T32s. So as you can see, even that the MODs of defense, they are going pretty far away from their home. I live to were risky again on the middle of the map. And let's move Kuki down there because it's gonna be some serious shooting. Here, yeah, the light tanks are shooting themselves in different places. It's hard to catch the best of that when the action is going everywhere, exactly everywhere. Get on in crossfire. Let's get some nice shooting. Sabas has been tracked and now the serious damage. Even as Keton was in crossfire, he has been completely defended by uh, the teammates. So Ages of KK is uh, leading with uh, one to near. So I have to draw. We've got Iron Hole here back with uh, Skeleton. There are two light tanks against one. They're trying to feel each other, I think. Looks like Gold Sky is going on doing as a uh, supporting to light tank to it war. Yeah, definitely. That's something you can see only on consoles. Uh, sandstorm on a Sun River. So tanks are spotted. So the interface. I will put off most of the interface on the the numbers about the tanks. That would be great. found how to do it last time I've got no idea how to do it now there's one more camera down here I've got no idea how to use it because it doesn't let me to be honest I 
I'm getting a bit passive now. Oh, there is some serious things going on here. Skeleton Hoon has been under heavy fire. Yep, but that's what it, uh, what happens when uh, you, he's been Amorak and uh, other moves have been damaged. He used large paper kit and he can still get back to fight. He can still help his teammates. Three MOEs on Bulldog without the camo, saving silver. <laughs> of him spotting Sigur Trababoru there's a respawn behind, Skeleton has been spotted oh, this is one shot oh, he's been dragged again let's see if they will finish him no, he managed to disappear it was lucky as you can see his track is damaged so just a simple shot on that track we're gonna stop him again 741 damage so far, one new HS of is link, but time is ticking, guys. Uh, it's uh, five minutes passed by this round. HS OKK is slowly advancing closer to the enemy flag. What MOD had not done, they didn't clean up the to the end the flag. So HS OKK tanks can try to put some pressure on the flag, but it doesn't happen yet. Uh, light tanks are playing the main role, it looks like here. Only track damage. Uh, Aaron Hoon in uh, crossfire. Uh, who's gonna win here? Solofima. Aaron missed. And Aaron has been done, and, but there's a uh, pressure on the flag now, as we can see. The Zekrabant is here. I think he's gonna finish the Solofima. Yes, he finished him. And I think he's gonna finish the Chaffee. There's an Skeleton Hoon as well here. Yep, yep, nearly, nearly. What a game. That's it. Two light tanks blowing up on our skin at the uh, same time, nearly. Krabonita is still here. But in the meantime, in the same time, uh, there's a lot of heavy fire from the heavy tanks here. You can see Black is very spotted and nearly done. And the <coughs> Krabonita is going on behind him. Look like HSOKK has got some advantage here. Uh, no armor on. MX-200 makes it an easy target for HSOK tanks. Seba has got some hits. They are trying to push forward to uh, reset the, the flag counter timer. So far they didn't manage. Uh, and in the meantime, Kabantas is finishing from behind the rest of the tanks, as we can see. And I see managed to be finished. Criminal 6 to 2 for ages, okay, so now everything turn around. Uh, there's only Ghost Guy in 50, 100. Uh, I don't think he would be able to do anything. Uh, and yeah, that's it. He's finished now. He's in reload. 7 to 2, ages, okay. 1 1 after the first two rounds on Sunderbird Sandstorm. Second map we're gonna see is the map picked by MOD. Uh, let's check the best damages. Uh, let's just be ice free and uh, icy man 2k both of them. Definitely, these uh, numbers are different than on tier 10 because the tanks got less, much more or less HP here. So we are gonna change the map now. 
for a west field this is it the west field i'm gonna switch the sides for a proper one hsokk -OK are gonna defend themselves on west field i'm gonna change guys for the spectators and i'm gonna start the timer so they got three minutes to pick times pick tanks from our pardon good game one one <coughs> one one after the first two runs both teams won attacking runs that's most important that's a worth mention that not the defending teams won but the attacking teams won both of the runs so it's one one and now hsokk as the home team are defending themselves again on a map picked by MOD, which is Westfield. Let's see what tactics this clan brings on that map. This map is bigger than the smaller maps like, like Sandstorm, Sun Reaper. It's bigger, it has uh, much more terrain level differences so you got to pick wisely which tanks you're gonna play here to not get too far behind the enemy or to manage get to enemy team or enemy place on time as you got only 10 minutes here to defend yourself or only 10 minutes here to attack Before we pick the time, 10 minutes time, we did lots of research, lots of uh, clan battles to help to test the time and it appeared that 15 minutes is far too much for the defending team to withstand and uh, less than 10 minutes is not enough for attacking team to properly attack on most cases. So, HSOKK versus MOD, move or die. 1-1 one, one after the first two rounds on Sand River Sandstorm. We're gonna see the third down here, Westfield. HSOKK defending themselves against MOD. They've got 45 more seconds to pick up the tanks. I'm trying to be careful with the gamepad as L2 is pretty soft and I would like to avoid to kicking, so or of kicking someone from the room or kicking myself as well because <laughs> I've realized that now that definitely that's what happens uh, you can kick yourself even if you're a host and the host for the room will be sent to someone else so it doesn't cause the room but uh, definitely it kicks you out from it It makes some technical issues, problems. We can see the scores in the corner from different games. BWP versus LDA. Uh, it's free to near. As we can see, it pops up ta two times sometimes. Depends on what time because we can't even say when it was sent because of the issues with position of a messenger. Hopefully, if to which will accept our partnership, will be able to live stream with a five minute delay all of our games. So the players from the teams that are not participating directly can be down there and watch the teams or their favorite teams engage more. A CPL is the community that's over. 500 players already and growing up quickly more and more as four minutes past now so i'm gonna show the guys they've got more than enough time i'm gonna reveal the tanks and let's see what's going on here i'm trying to give them a bit more time than this three minutes uh, as i would like to avoid the problems with uh, not pick tanks on the on the time 
better safe than sorry. Hopefully, soon enough we sort it out so there will be no issues and nobody will worry about the streaming so they will be always ready. Westfield, third round in a match HSOKK against MOD 1 1 after the first two rounds. Well, let's see the rosters. Uh, HSOKK, Krabanditas T 50 2 uh, light tank. Uh, Aaron Hoon, T50 for lightweight, uh, Sketon Hoon, AMX, 1390, uh, three light tanks on HSOKK side, and uh, Ice Team Manchester B, Ice Free, Sigutra, Babalu, Tifertus, MOD, Sabas, Artillery, M1443, Rifuor, MX, Chucky, Sofina, WZ132, Sebon, and Kummel, T32, Gold Sky, and Black Silver, AMX, 5100. Uh, no, come on, Sigutra. Gotcha. No come on, eh, mix uh, 13, uh, 90, that's a really bad choice, no come on, like tanks. Uh, same here. <coughs> We've got uh, some serious uh, things here, and as you can see, Six-tier tanks spotted themselves now. It's autoloader versus normal tank. Art is shot but missed. Rift was still spotted, what means uh, the Cavantes has a bit more better crew. Uh, Mr. Ritwer and now a massive shot to Cabanditas so he need to move out so Ritwer did it smart way he just bite him to show himself to his mates that's an interesting thing this is the advance that we can see from HSOKK has been spotted all the tanks, uh, Rikwa just did a great job for uh, his team. They know they are advancing this way, so... Wow. How MOD are gonna work out this now? We've got Katnohan here. Hiding in a bush. In a woods. Um, when they just covering the flanks, mm. uh, so uh, these two tanks can't do much because they are getting spotted immediately and they are afraid. Uh, and all of the motor tanks advance have been put on hold from this side. There's a high chance they will spot the Nars very soon. Mm. It's worth moving on the second flank. Time is playing a crucial role here, and time is playing. The more time it takes MOD to move forward, the better situation for HSOKK. Rift were so close to skeleton. Guys, check this out, and you can see how close they had to be to spot each other immediately at the same time. Rifuar has got to move out. Both of the reload uh, art missed. Just I'll show the art here. Full frame ammo, but missing uh, food. That gives a bit, you know. Uh, looks like MOD. Has no idea how to properly attack without losing too much. They trying to put something together, but looks like it is hard. That's interesting. Sabas is falling back. Huh. 
some camera issues. Again. Yeah, I think it was moving down there as they advanced on the other side. Now wait for hiding in the bush, hiding in the bush, and try to spot enemies. Check how close these light tanks are from them. They can't spot them. Spot each other. Now if we moved out from the bush, still no spotting. In the same time, the heavy tanks are shooting MX-51. Got some beatings. A lot of FEMA as well. They have been spotted by Anhun, but there's a Ritwo here, hitting Anhun, taking some uh, attention on him. At the same time, MO decided to move uh, from the flank that they were trying to advance f on the first time, and they're trying to push through the wall. I don't think they will manage to get in time where they would like to. It's only four minutes left. Looks like definitely HSOKK were prepared how to defend <coughs> on this map somehow. Even that this is the map that was picked by MOD. And Arte missed. And there is Captain Hoon spotting uh, T-32s. Nice shooting down there and the uh, MX-51 as well and it while is down there he's trying to find the place to shoot so him are down there there's a gold sky behind them and Arty that doesn't show anything special is so far yet yeah it's everything go nothing for MOD they've got three minutes only left they had to try to capture the flag but I doubt it was possible with them heavy tanks Nice shot by Chaffee, but Chaffee has been finished by uh, Skeleton Hoon. That's one year for HS OKK. Sabas finished Skeleton Hoon, so yeah, the RT hits the light tank. 0-1-1. Oh, one, one. And this is Slofima is trying to put some pressure on the flag. If he will manage to hide between those buildings, it is possible that he will get some advantage. Yes, he's managed to, to hide down there. So now heavy tanks need to hold and 40 seconds, 45 seconds. So Lofima must uh, stand down there 45 seconds. There is a high chance that he will manage that if uh, the uh, Amix 5100 God Sky that's uh, loading down there so far behind will be able to uh, stop Arnhorn. If not, I don't think it will happen. 36 seconds, let's see that those push, they desperately need to push and uh, try to get rid of the Solofima here. Arnhun here, no MX-5100 on time, so Solofima in a serious situation, 28 seconds. Solofima has been disposed on fire from that flank, 24 seconds, 23 seconds. Nice outplay by Sofima and 20 seconds. He's been, uh, the, the flag has been reset. Uh, he didn't manage to run from him. 5 to 2 for HS OKK. Ah, they did what they did. That was a really great action what they did here. I submit they were just missing one more tank. They would have two light tanks here on the flag. Definitely that would be a massive advantage. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this uh, MX 5100 left and take over the T 52. Uh, but that's not enough that's not enough so six to two for hs okk it's uh, one minute to the end uh, i don't think anything was gonna have uh, change and happen here uh, that's it uh, the hs okk i winning this round on defense so even that the map has been picked by mod hs okk appears to be a bit better and now uh, iron hoon nice shot and he's been finished by gold sky 48 seconds 45 seconds, 6 free. And this one kill adds to the counter of the damage and kills for Gold Sky, but it won't change the situation of the match. That's it, we need over. I have a shooting as well. And finished the Gold Sky, that's 73. 
two to one after the first three runs and nothing special with damage here uh, Siguta is the best with uh, 1.6 nothing special Tifa 2 only tried on MOD side nice tactic ni nice tactic really good play just a bit too late I think on the last minute decision but what's important that means that MOD tactician whoever uh, whoever Whoever position is that, if it's a retour as a leader or sub online or whoever is the tactician in MOD, made a great decision on the fly, uh, seeing the situation, analyzing the situation on the map. So, three minutes for the clans to pick up the tanks. You can grab a coffee, uh, have a seek or whatever you would like to do, go to pee, or just as you're not watching us live, you can just jump straight to the match in the next few minutes. You can just skip it on the YouTube channel.
All right, time has passed. I'm gonna review the tanks and we will see if this is gonna be the last round of this match or are we gonna see the tiebreaker. Westfield, fourth round of the match tonight against HS, OKK and MOD. So far we see even play both guns are doing a great tactic jobs here great uh, changes on the fly and HS OKK which is attacking now is leading 2-1 to one. let's check the rosters uh, nothing special on MOD we can see Amix Chaffee uh, WZ 100 is 3 2 t 32 so uh, Amix uh, 5100 uh, on the H for the side, uh, T-50-2, uh, light tank, uh, T-4 lightweight, uh, two of them, uh, Amix 1390, uh, uh, two I-3 T-52, that's uh, four light tanks on H is okay on the attacking side. But on the other hand, MOD has got two Amix 50s, uh, 100s autoloaders. So definitely it's gonna be an interesting game. I switch to. See this uh, T-54, so, uh, no come on Sigutra, ooh, that's not the perfect idea for the light tank, same on Amazon. Looks like the guys didn't, wasn't prepared to use them or forgot about them. Trabanditas in the center of the action. Sabas Trabanditas, uh, Trabanditas missed. Now nice shot from Cabantas, Sabas got shot, got penetrated by one of the shots from Cabantas. He's trying to respond with the same but he's covered by Alice, which has been spotted now already. Looks like the light tanks are going to play a main role on this uh, game for Ace OK. Black Zipper has been trying to push Krabanditas and uh, see what he can do down there with his great armor on IS-3 uh, shooting the Babalu T-32 has been damaged badly they still don't know that there is a lot of the heavy tanks here are waiting for HSOKK Advantage from the HP by the HP on the MOD side. Uh, Krumel is here, Seba Line here as well. Now, everything in the hands of the light tanks of HSOKK. If they will play like now they are playing so passive, I don't think they got any chance to win the, the round. So, wow, that was a nice one. Uh, great focus fire on Black Lucifer. Black Lucifer maybe for on two shots max Babalu nearly reloaded there is an icy man just behind him the chasabi is trying to uh, get the side of the tanks he's here he's close he nice one black super has survived that's what they roll Babalu on one shot here and i don't think he's gonna reload in time uh, well black has been finished um, uh, criminal damage well a lot of uh, Fire exchange, everything now for in the hands of the light tanks, I think. Uh, if HSOK would like to win. Just like it's been done, 2 to 1. <laughs> I turn off the interface for a moment, as we can see a great battle here. Alright, we're back to see what's going on. 3 2 for HSOK. Oh wow, 4 2 uh, for 3. Now it's three light tanks against uh, two heavies and a light tank. That's close here. And uh, see what has been done. Uh, what a bad move by Anhun. He didn't manage to uh, finish in time. Whoa, that's interesting. Uh, still, they changed for the lead work because he want they want to finish the auto loader. For he load, they manage. Uh, wow, that was risky. 6 to 4 by HSOKK, so looks like they are gonna win that round. Everything in the hands of Solofima. In WZ132. He's 
He's alone against three light tanks of HSOK. A nice shot by Slofima. They're waiting for uh, AMX 1390 to help them. Trying just to circle around. And Solofima blocked himself on the uh, one of the wrecks of the ships. Uh, Amor Amorak damage. Uh, what an intensive uh, changes here. Like I said, the light tanks are playing a crucial role here. Like a medium tanks on tier 10. And that's it. 7 to 4 for HSOKK. And they're winning this match. 3 to 1. Ages OKK winning on attack, absolutely great play by Ron Horn. 2400 damage on uh, Tifty Water, great run for Kruma as well. 2.2, 7 shots, 7 uh, hits, 7, 7 penetrations. Great game to 40, 50. Uh, two as well as we can see 1496 damage for this small tank it's a 60 tank which makes you say absolutely great game <laughs> nothing special it's like they won the round without the IMX 1390 <laughs> so great game thank you guys that's it it's free one so uh, we are going to move to CPL Pro at this moment thank you again for watching see you on the next game and the next uh, weekend Cheers guys.